we're going to make lemon curd. Lemon curd is thought of as egg cookery in the bakery. Um, we're going to be able to temper our eggs. Tempering is temper, temper, temper is what I always say. Tempering is we're going to raise the temperature of our eggs by boiling a liquid, adding it to it. It's called tempering. Then we're going to bring it back and put it back on the stove and cook it till it's done to just about 180 degrees. And I'm going to show you what I look for. I don't temp it. Uh, I just know what I'm looking for. And so I'm going to allow you to do that too. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my egg yolks, which I already have in here. And then I'm going to add half my sugar. And I'm going to sprinkle half my sugar in there. I'm going to get those guys going. And I'm going to incorporate them. My sugar. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to put my sugar and my lemon juice uh, on the stove. And I add my lemon zest then at the same time because, I, like I've said, I like to agitate it. And if I'm uh, getting this up to temperature, I think it's going to activate those oils. I'm going to bring this up. And I don't want the flame to come up over the sides. I don't really want to burn that pot. So I'm going to turn it down a little. Get it incorporated. At the same time, I'm getting my egg yolks ready to go. So my egg yolks and sugar have incorporated. I'm going to bring up, get this out of the way. I'm going to bring the lemon juice and lemon zest up to temperature and to a boil. It's real important it's a boil. We're going to show you how to temper back and forth and we're going to put it back on the stove and let you see what I'm looking for. I'm going to use a spatula here. Once the lemon curd is done, we're going to have an ice bath uh, in a hotel pan and we're going to cool it down. It is an egg product and can be volatile and we want to make sure we take very good care of it, uh, safe and sanitary. So we're going to cool it down over ice. And it's a product that needs to stay refrigerated. It freezes beautifully. I used to make it and put it in Ziploc bags and layer it flat. And then you could just pull them out and it really never freezes all the way and defrosts super quick. Lemon curd's also thought of as a, a British um, kind of condiment that you put on a scone. You put this beautiful lemon curd on it. Lemon curd is just the most delicious product. One of the, one of the most delicious we make in the bakery. So we're gonna bring this up to a boil. And like I said, uh, I'm going to stop it here and bring it up to a boil and then not bore you. And then what we're going to do is we're going to temper it back and forth and put it back on the stove. And I want you to know what to look for when lemon curd is done. All right, our lemon juice is boiling. And that's important. We want to bring it up to a boil. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my heat off, especially since I don't want to set my jacket on fire. And I'm going to come in here and temper my hot liquid into my yolks. And I'm going to do little bits at a time. And I'm all by myself, so I'm going to take my time with it. Make sure I get all that up. I'm going to bring my temperature up. Mix up my egg yolks and sugar. I'm combining with my sugar and my lemon juice. So I'm going to make sure I get it all in there. It's important. Get it all in. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this spatula and I'm going to pour this back in this pan. And we're going to cook it back on the stove. And what we've done is raise the temperature. Uh, of the egg yolks so that they're going to cook, which is what we're looking for. Let's get this out of the way and I'm going to finish it with my butter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start bringing this up to temperature. I'm going to turn my heat back on. I'm going to make sure it's a lower temperature than I had when I was looking for a boil. And I'm going to stand here and stir it the whole time, but I'm not going to go anywhere. And that's what's important. You can't leave an egg product like this on the stove ever. So we're going to start cooking it and incorporating it and standing here and we're going to Thicken those egg yolks. We're going to bring them up to temperature very slowly. Um, and then I'm going to show you what we're looking for. What I want to show you is how I can tell when the lemon curd is starting to get done. First of all, we have this foam on the top. And that's the lemon curd that's not cooked all the way through. What's going to happen is as this lemon curd starts to thicken, and we're stirring it and whipping it the whole time. I haven't left it. The foam is going to go away. And what that tells me is my eggs have sat and cooked all the way through. I want to show you my lemon curd that's completely done. Uh, that it's cooked all the way through. I've had heat through. I don't want to boil it. Uh, that would mean that I got it really hot. Uh, what I want to do is once I kind of see the foam starting to go away, I turn the heat down. And then I'm going to turn this off right here. Uh, and turning the heat down and low as I can go is going to condense it and cook it uh, to the curd that I'm looking for. Uh, and I haven't cooked any eggs. Um, we make sure when we do make a lemon curd that we strain it because if there is by chance a little bit of egg that got cooked through it, I've got a big old china cap here, that I'm going to pour it through it. You can see in my bowl I have a little bit of butter that's already added to it and I have more butter to add on top. We're going to finish it with butter and that's what makes that curd just so delicious is the finishing with butter. Um, 
sides. And we're going to get this lemon curd through, and I'm going to put it right through the butter. I'm going to spat it through. I don't want to push it hard. I don't want any, oh, I got a little piece of butter right there. I don't want to push any egg through because I don't want any cooked egg in it by chance that I have a little in there. I'm going to get this lemon curd through, and then I'm going to finish it with the butter on the top. I'm going to show you what that looks like. All right, here is my lemon curd I'm finishing. I have the butter that was underneath, and now I'm going to start adding the rest of my butter on top. It cools it down, um, and it emulsifies into the lemon curd, and it is just a beautiful product. You want to stand and stir and make sure all the lemon gets incorporated. I've strained it so I know it's just perfect for me for what I'm looking for. And what I'm going to do is once all my butter is melted and incorporated, I want to make sure it's all incorporated, I'm going to put this over an ice bath and chill it down and we're going to use it in our lemon coconut cake. This is our filling and our topping and it just makes it sing. It's just so beautiful.